At the dawn of World War I, the Komagata Maru arrived at the port of Vancouver with 376 Punjabi immigrants aboard, only for Canada to deny them entry based on its racist exclusion laws. For months, the passengers suffered terrible conditions before being forced to return to India. Members of the Sikh nationalist Ghadar movement began to arm themselves. In July, Mewa Singh was caught trying to smuggle four revolvers into Canada. William Charles Hopkinson, an immigration inspector, interrogated him at the border. You're looking at 10 years in prison. I can get you off if you give me the names of the other gutterites who put you up to it. They never told me anything. All I knew was the guns were for the passengers on the Maru. With Hopkinson's help, Mewa would get off with a $50 fine making him suspect among other six. Hopkinson had used bribery, forgery, and death threats to recruit a network of spies in Vancouver's Sikh community, including his best informant, Bila Singh. When another spy was murdered, a paranoid Bila went to his funeral and opened fire on the crowd, killing two men. Mewa was among the mourners. Bila claimed he acted in self-defense. When asked for his motive, Bila replied, Ask Hopkinson. On the day of Bila's trial, Hopkinson was waiting outside the witness room when Mewa confronted him. So, are you going to testify for Bila? You are a blood sucker. I cannot close my eyes and see evil done. Mewa would then fatally shoot Hopkinson in his thigh, back, lungs, and heart. Mewa's trial was held in October. Mewa spoke little English, but his lawyer Edward Woods read his statement. These people have disgraced us all together. Seals are nothing. We are worked on. It is better for a Sikh to die than to bring such disgrace and ill treatment in the temple. After only an hour and 40 minutes, Mewa Singh was found guilty and sentenced to death by hanging. Mewa Singh was executed on January 11, 1915. Afterward, a procession of 406 carried Mewa's body to his funeral pyre. To this day, many Sikhs see Mewa as a martyr for freedom. <laughs>